Sean McKinnon is being remembered as a free spirit who had a love of the ocean and music. Reporter Elias Kluwer travelled to Mr McKinnon's hometown of Port Campbell, where he's being mourned. When Olivia Tatunji first met Sean McKinnon, she knew straight away he was special. Sean arrived and he was just like nothing, nothing we'd ever seen before. He was, um, I think every time you met Sean was a memorable moment. As teenagers, the pair and their friends would surf at the Port Campbell Pier with dreams of catching the perfect wave. He just like rode the wave from his heart instead of thinking that he should look a certain way. His friends say his love of the water was matched by the love he had for his fiancée, Bianca Buckley, who saw Mr McKinnon murdered. We've all really embraced Bianca. They're, they seem to be in a really perfect match. They're both free spirits. After his schooling, Sean McKinnon travelled the world. Locals here say he worked hard as a fly-in, fly-out worker and had grand plans to move back here to live out the rest of his days surfing and playing the guitar. The McKinnon family are a prominent one in the Victorian farming community of Naranda. Today, flags flew at half-mast at the local b and It's just incomprehensible that this could happen to someone that you know and impact on the community in the way it does. Loved ones, friends and family struggling to reconcile how such a peaceful man met such a violent end. Elias Kluwer, ABC News, Port Campbell.